Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Life Behind the Sticks. How are you doing today? It's been a while. Uh, I hope. Thank you so much for the uh, support on all the Lego builds that we've been doing. Huge amount of fun, those Lego builds. Um, BD1 is now living on my shelf up above me, just up, uh, up there. You probably can't see him, so that was pointless, G4. But um, yeah, that was a great project. I really, really enjoyed um, doing that build and bringing it to you. I haven't done that before, so something new and fresh for Life Behind the Sticks. And of course, Life Behind the Sticks is all about showing you what goes on when I'm not gaming, basically. And um, also giving you tech tips. And today, we are going to give you a tech tip. So I decided to set myself a challenge because I haven't got enough to do. Life's not busy enough. Why not give myself a challenge? And that challenge was to see if I could get better audio to come through OBS using a third party software that I've been using for a long, long time. And in fact, yeah, I was pretty successful at doing this um, and it wasn't that hard to do. So I thought I would share it. For you guys that maybe want to to do a little bit more improving or want to tweak things and um, yeah, are not happy with the, the sound you're getting out of OBS, but spe specifically at your microphone. So we're going to explain it all today and explain how it all worked. Should be good. Let's do it. Okay, so if you hadn't noticed or you, have, you don't really watch Life Behind the Sticks or you haven't before, uh, um, and you can't tell, um, on the Mac OS uh, environment operating system, and I have been for well over 10 years now, um, as far as computing goes and making videos, editing videos, putting audio down, all the rest of it. I've been using it for quite a long time, and um, I've been using it for the entire life of gaming for XP. And um, if you go back and watch some of my early videos, the, the audio is awful. It is absolutely awful compared to what we do now. And that's the thing about doing content creation. You're always learning and trying to improve things. So one of the things that um, I wanted to do, I wanted to try and play around with was to see if I could get any better audio at OBS. OBS does have filters. Um, that you can use, and we've covered that on this uh, this segment before on Life Behind the Sticks. But I, I just wondered if there was uh, something else I could do because I do use a third party software to do my voiceovers on the channel, and I've kind of built uh, certain ways of doing that with different plugins and stuff, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I wondered if I could take that quality from. Um, Audio Hijack, which is the uh, the program that I use, and plug it into OBS. And um, I was able to do that, but and it wasn't as hard as I thought. Now, if you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm on Windows G4, if you follow the logic, it shouldn't be that hard. I think you should be able to do it on Windows. Mac OS is much more tricky to, um, to have move audio around your system and capture audio for different parts of your system than Windows is. So I think you should be able to do this quite easily on your Windows PCs. And um, I'd like to hear from you if you try it, if, if, it, if you are in fact able to do it, because um, it was actually pretty straightforward on Mac, which was is extremely surprising. That usually doesn't happen. Um, just to give you a kind of idea, complexities that you get on Mac. Um, for instance, if I stream and I use my Elgato capture card um, that is plugged into my Xbox, um, for me to stream, I needed a specific um, Elgato capture card. I couldn't just use any old uh, capture card, which on Windows you can't. So in fact, I had an older version of Elgato and I ended up having to um, put a version of Windows on my Mac to be able to stream at one point. So. It, I don't know why the, the marks are like that, but they are, and uh, you just find workarounds for them, and that's what I've done uh, with this one. And in fact, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly out of Audio Hijack right now, and um, we'll give you some comparisons on how that all sounds in a wee while. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you where my baseline was. Um, I'm going to give you where my baseline was with OBS, um, then I'm going to add some filters into OBS. 
And uh, then I'm going to switch back to this audio so you can hear it for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to switch this off now. And now we are on the OBS um, audio for you. Now, I've got no filters switched on at this point. I'm about to switch the filters on and uh, the filters do make a huge difference. And, and if you haven't done that, like I said, I've done a couple of videos on this. So you should um, you should have filters on your microphone coming into OBS for streaming. And I've just switched those on while I'm talking to you and you hopefully you've, you've heard a difference. So this is where the audio was when I started this whole process. And um, I'll, we will now switch over back over to Audio Hijack and you can hear the uh, difference in Audio Hijack, which is what we're on now. So big difference in audio quality and it's not that hard to do. So let's get in the meat and potatoes of it, show you exactly how I did it and then um, and then we'll finish up for the day. So Audio Hijack's um, kind of workflow, if, you, if that's how you want to term it, is pretty easy. It is a audio program the um, audio sources come in via mic or you know it could be a browser audio it could be anything but it's only audio that comes in to it you can add a number of different filters or plugins however you want to, to think about that and then it outputs that sound file to your computer pretty straightforward not that hard to follow when it comes to OBS however it gets a little bit more complicated because you have a number of things that are coming in. You have obviously your audio coming in. You will have video coming in. Now that might be a video from say a console or a PC via capture card. Um, it, you might be, have some uh, audio or video or other things coming in via a browser. You might have in images coming in. There's a whole myriad of things that come into OBS and then generally it's outputted as um, a file or as a output noise as an audio file and a video file. That's how OBS is. That's what it's designed to do um, because they're slightly different. They have slightly different uh, requirements, uh, what's coming in and then what's going out. So how do we link um, a audio program like audio hijack to obs because you know they're they're separate programs how do we link them together and that was the challenge now with windows i'll explain it as i show you the um, interface of obs i'll explain it but i'm going to do the mac uh, solution first and then i'll talk about the windows one or at least what i think the windows one would be because it's it's probably a lot easier what mac you have um, there's a couple of softwares that will work. Now, for me, I've got the latest uh, iteration of a Mac. I've got an M2 silicon processor. And so, therefore, I need to use a program called Black Hole. Um, Soundflower will work on some of the older Macs. And again, it will depend not only on the age of your Mac, but also uh, the operating system that you have. Um, Black Hole works on both Intel and uh, Silicon processors, so it, it, it fits all. And so it's by a company called Extensual Audio, and you're seeing it on screen right now. It is free to download. I'd encourage you, if you're going to download it, just give them a, a donation. It just keeps them running, and it'll keep them working and updating the software. But essentially what this does is it's a virtual um, audio loop for your Mac and it's going to draw in and allow you to draw in uh, a number of sources of audio for your Mac on your system. I'm lucky with Audio Hijack that it allows me to output to Black Hole and therefore it links into OBS and now we'll show you how to link it in to OBS. So here we are in OBS. This is kind of weird because I'm seeing myself. But anyway, here we are in OBS and here's the key. So what you want to do to be able to draw that audio in is to hit the plus, the add source button here like this. And what you want to do is you want the audio coming in to OBS. So we go audio capture. 
you can rename it there um, and then we'll just say OK and then when you get this little drop down you just look for black hole click that click OK and that set that sets up the connection between your audio recording program and your um, your OBS studio program so what I think that should be able to do for my window brethren is that you should be able just to um, grab that audio input capture option and then look for the if it's a Dacity or whatever program it is it should be on that list hopefully and you should just be able to do the same thing just select that program and then you'll be able to bring the, the audio in that way um, it should be a lot simpler you're not going to need that kind of audio loop back that we do on Mac a little diagram up the, uh, up there for you just to see you can see how it all kind of pulls everything together uh, now the the other thing that you've got to be careful from and you might have picked it up in the footage is um, obviously you're going to have to have your mic running in the software that you're linking to OBS for this to work um, if you're not running uh, that software is in fact and having your your input of your mic open then you're just going to get uh, footage that is has no 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 voice audio so just be careful with that that did catch me at luckily with um with uh, audio hijack it's not that hard i just hit the run button now and i can see on my screen and actually have just up there um some sound bars that tell me that the volume is actually working and coming in so it's a very good uh, look see for me a visual video visual cue if you like words are getting difficult it's getting late in the day and i haven't had enough coffee um yeah i have a visual cue right in front of me to tell me that there's actually audio coming in so that's a couple of things that you might get caught on cut out on when uh, when you do this if you're not watching so Hopefully that's been useful for you guys. If you're wondering how to link uh, an external um, program to OBS, um, if it has been useful, a like rating is always appreciated because it really does help the channel. I enjoy making these videos and as I find these kind of things, I like sharing. So um, if there's anything that you're struggling with or need some advice that I can help with, I can't, I'm, I'm not a huge i'm not an expert I, I i have i have a few skills and talents and a quite a bit of knowledge but i'm not an expert but if i can help you leave a comment down below i will try my hardest to get you an answer and uh, we will catch you next time on life behind the sticks have a great day see you later see ya